Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner and to another Creative Wednesday video. Today I want to transfer some images on... Uh, at first I wanted to do an art journal page, but I thought it would be nice to do them on some of my playing cards. So it's gonna be another one of my favorite things playing cards video, but uh, well with a different technique. I want to show you how to transfer these images onto your uh, art journal page or your altered card. It's already a bit altered because I already sanded it uh, with some sandpaper and I gessoed it. And um, well, let's just get started. And for that you'll need uh, some kind of gel medium. I've got uh, Mod Podge, you've got Liquitex, you've got all kinds of things, but this works really great. So uh, you need this and a bit of patience <laughs> because you have to apply this to your picture and I'm gonna do two. Um, and you have to apply it in a few layers, so it has to dry in between. But I'm gonna try to speed it up with my heat gun. Normally I just leave it to dry, but um, I'm gonna try and speed it up, see if that works. Uh, this is, of course, the Eiffel Tower. We went to Paris last year, and I thought it would be nice to make a, a little card with that as just a memory of Paris. And I also really love Rose and Maiden. That's uh, an anime series. And uh, I also have the manga series, which is a Japanese comic book. And this is Hina Ichigo, and I don't know what Hina means anymore. I did know that. But uh, Ichigo means strawberry, and she's just so cute. And this is Shinku, and she's uh, also very cute, but a bit uh, sad, actually. Anyways, I love this. So I want to make one of my favorite things cards with that. And I'm just gonna take my brush and uh, go over this with some gel medium. So with my Mod Podge. And because I want to do two at a time, I'm just gonna... Uh, be careful. <laughs> Leave them together on the page. So this I just uh, printed out. I found some nice pictures online of this and then I just printed it out on just normal paper, normal print paper. Okay, so that's layer number one. And so I normally just leave this to dry, but uh, this time I'll see if it works if you speed it up. I have no idea. Well, actually it does because it's already dry. I was afraid it would, uh, you know, just bubble and start to boil a bit. <laughs> Um, I can do a second layer, so I don't know why I leave it to dry every time. <laughs> this goes way faster. Okay, a second layer. A nice thick second layer. These are so cute. I love cute cute stuff. You'll see lots of cute stuff in uh, my uh, favorite things altered card booklet. <laughs> okay, second layer. And you want to do this uh, two to four times, so I do it four times. So I won't bore you with that. I'll get back to you when I've done this four times. Well, I just applied layer number four and I'm just gonna put this aside because first, as long as I got my Mod Podge out, I want to um, put some of this on my card. And I think I'm gonna do both cards that way. Um, I want to stamp on this a bit and uh, as you might have seen in my previous video, uh, I only have stays on that doesn't really work. And do you know if that's the only ink that stays on uh, acrylic surfaces? Because I really love my Versafine ink, oh, this one, but it really takes a long time to dry. And I've been stamping for years, but I just can't figure this out. So if you have any tips about which ink to use on acrylic paint or on gesso and stuff like that, on Mod Podge, please give me a tip, let me know. <laughs> So, but uh, I think this will be a nice background for this. So I'm just gonna take my Mod Podge. So I didn't even need to gesso these, but oh well, I've got them. So just gonna smear it all over. I'm just gonna stick it on here. Like that. And I'm gonna do that with the other one too, but uh, that was not, <laughs> hmm, doesn't fit. You know what? I don't mind if it goes the other way. That's okay. So I'm gonna do one with sideways <laughs> words. So now I can go clean my brush. So uh, I <laughs> took one of my better brushes for this. So I really have to clean it. So I really want to tear this, <laughs> but uh, hmm. 
that's really yeah that's not gonna work oh well that's okay so I'm just gonna tear the edges off so there's still some edges over here but that's okay I'm gonna use some ink uh, around the edges anyway so this one isn't really uh, how you say that? this looks a bit distressed don't you think it's a bit uh, <laughs> I don't know in Dutch it's ravelig but I don't know the word uh, it's not a straight it's not as neat as this card guys you know what I mean <laughs> ah, okay so um, first I'm gonna punch in the hole ha and let me see if I do that right I want it on this side okay All right, so uh, I can't do these at the same time, so I'm gonna cut this to size, and I'll have to get some water. <laughs> I just wanted to grab this, and I almost poured it over everything. Ah, okay, just put everything aside that can get wet. <laughs> okay, I've got this uh, little box of box I don't know a container of water and I'm gonna start with a, a Paris one now what you do is just put this into the water and just let it soak for a while okay so this has to soak really well and then you can very gently start to rub the paper off can you see that is it zoomed in okay I'll just try and show you so I just rub off this paper and it's best to do that in the water. It won't tear as easily. Just very gently rub it off. And this part I'm not even going to use. <laughs> I'm gonna, only going to use the Eiffel Tower, so I'm going to go that way. Just rub it off. So, so it's also best to just get them out. Don't leave them in the water, just to get towel and just put them on there because if you put this into uh, your sink it'll clog up clog up <laughs> I don't know if you say that all right but so it's best to just take it out uh, but this is enough so I'm gonna take a bowl of water yeah right so I'm gonna take an empty bowl <laughs> and just hold this down and just pour all the water out so you've got this left and then you just take uh, a piece of kitchen roll oh my gosh <laughs> guys I did I just pushed that I just put this aside really fast and all the water almost got out okay I'll just dip it dry a bit and now you want to leave this to dry and um, I like to use, and I have to get it, just a piece of uh, acetate, I think it's called, and just put it on there. So I could have easily taken it out of the bottle, of course. Oh well. And then just put this aside gently <laughs> and just tap it dry a bit. And now you just have to leave this to dry, and I've never tried to dry this with a heat tool before. So I can try that, because if you put this on paper, it might get stuck to the paper. So just don't do that. Leave it in the uh, container you're using or put it on a piece of estate like this. I'm just going to try it. Worst thing that can happen is I'm going to ruin it. But I've got plenty more. <laughs> see what happens does it stick to the acetate now no it doesn't okay I'm not really sure how to speed this process because uh, yeah you know what I'm just gonna try and dry this with a piece of kitchen towel just really gently tap it off and do you see the the matte finish so because I use mud Podge, which is really a uh, well, this has a matte, matte finish. It uh, looks really different from the picture I had first. This one is large. Wait, I've got another one. It looks really different from what you had. This is the 
uh, picture I used and this is what you get so it's really nice and a really nice vintage look it has a vintage look so uh, I don't think it's that bad if you just put it on your craft sheet and just tap it a bit dry it a bit but you have to be careful you don't tear it because this is really thin never done this before so <laughs> I hope it works ah, it starts to wrinkle so I'm gonna stop and just leave this to dry over here but on the other hand the wrinkly look might be kind of nice wait a minute okay I'm just gonna go on with this so it's a bit still a bit wet it's a bit wrinkly because uh, I tried it with a heat tool and uh, I'm gonna try it again with the other one so uh, you can see it again because this was a bit messy a bit weird <laughs> so I'll try that again put these aside so I'm just gonna take this first guys I'm gonna put away the bowl of water because you know me so I'm gonna take this one and I'm just gonna try and tear this and uh, I always used the complete picture and never tore it off so well there's my first mistake that doesn't work does it oh okay so guys um, I always use the complete picture so I've never tried to tear it and of course it doesn't work because it's plastic now <laughs> this this video was going way too well so there had to be something to go wrong otherwise it wouldn't be one of my videos so well I'll try to salvage that I wanted to have a really torn look you know just tear it off but that of well it doesn't work because it's now really very plastically plasticky and um, so what I'm gonna do is just put it on here like that and just take off a bit more of, of this and uh, well it's just what it is but I really don't like it, so shall I just do it again? So let's start all over. And with this one, I don't really mind. So I'm gonna try this one first, and I'm gonna do this over. I'm gonna do it over. Luckily I printed out two of these, because <laughs> I know myself. I'm just gonna tear it. Learning every day, guys. Just by doing stuff like this. You just learn every day because I never used it like this. I always just use the complete picture. <laughs> I, I cut it out the way I want it and then I just use it, but I never wanted this look with uh, torn edges. So <laughs> if you think about it, it's logical that it doesn't work. But yeah, I don't think, I just do. So let's just see what happens if you do it like this. This is a nice way to try things out because now I have this one. And I can use this one, of course. But now let's just see what happens if you do it like this. So that's what I meant to do all along. <laughs> to show you the difference. Right. Well, I only did three layers this time. See uh, what the difference is. Maybe that's enough. Because I tore off the edges. The Mod Podge wants to stay on there. Oh well. But it can't. I think this is gonna look nice. Probably should not have said that. I'm just gonna take it out and put it on my craft sheet. Uh, so I'm gonna put Mud Patch on this side. Keep your fingers crossed. Crossed? Crossed? <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed <laughs> that this will work out okay. So I'm using the side that has still has some paper on it. This is the side that doesn't. You still get me? <laughs> okay, wait. I need to concentrate a bit. <clears throat> oh boy, this is really something for me. So I want the Eiffel Tower on. Okay. Ooh. Uh, 
is is really nice. You can hardly see it, but I really like that. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but that's because the background is uh, really busy. If you if I had used it on a white card, you really would have seen this very vibrant. Let me just see. It. Oh, show you like this. It would be more vibrant. But it's also, I think, because I just used uh, three layers. So four layers is better, guys. Uh, it stays on thicker, better, and the image will stay on much better. So, oh, we've learned something. So let's try this one and see how that goes. <laughs> so uh, I am going to cut it to the size I want. This is what I normally do, actually. I just, I think I'm going to do that. Like this. I cut the paper the way I want it, just like this. And then I put the Mod Podge on. I don't know why I did it differently this time, but... So here I go again, guys. Gently rubbing the paper off. Take it out uh, when you can, because you don't want this in your sink, because then it, it'll get all clucked up. So uh, try to get out as much as you can. <laughs> Now I'm just going to try it this way again, just take it out. And dip it dry. Oh, she looks so adorable. So now you can decide again which side to use, because this side, uh, I hope you can see it, is really milky. That's because of the matte finish. The other side, if I can get it off, come on is more vibrant and I think I like this side better. This is a side where there's still a bit of paper on and well let me just put it on here so then it looks really pastel and mm, maybe I kind of like it. If I put it on here you see the letters through, you see that? That's the difference. I think with this one I'm going to go with this because that looks way better. A little bit of pink paint. Well, I've got a whole bottle, but I'm just going to take a little bit of it. I didn't shake it, I think. It's a bit watery. So, it's a little bit of pink. Around the edges. Um, well, I might as well just do the whole card. Just gently put it on your paper. Oh, she is so cute. So I'm gonna leave it to dry a little bit and I clean my brush because this is one of my good brushes as well. <laughs> and I keep using it for glue. I have to get my glue, glue brushes. And then I'll have to think what to do next. I haven't thought about that yet. So what I have now, beside a mess on my desk, oh, this is still wet, is this card and this card. Do you see the difference? <laughs> and over here I also took the papery side, so not the side where I put the Mud Podge on. Maybe I want to put some more pink paint on here, some thicker so that the edge isn't that clear. Just rub it in with my fingers. Okay, well these two are finished with a transfer. So, um, as you can see, you can, you can do lots with this. This one I'm going to use in an art journal page because it's really nice to use st still. I'm just going to cut off a bit of this and then I can still use it. But do you see the difference? <laughs> so, um, what did we learn today? We learned that you can't tear this Oh wait, you can, if you have a bit of patience and let it dry really well. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. Look, you can tear it if you just let it dry a bit longer. Well, you can't really tear it very well, but you can. This still looks... Guys, you can tear it very well. Nah, I'm not sure, can you tell? <laughs> 
you can tear it, but you're gonna stretch it a bit if you tear it. But I kind of like this look. So uh, I'm just gonna try what happens. Learning something new every day. This isn't bad, actually. Just have to be sure not to really tear the lower half of the Eiffel Tower. Hmm. So, what if I put this on paper? I think that's much better, don't you? <laughs> so I'm gonna tear it some more. And my battery starts flashing, of course. Uh, guys, I kind of like this. You can tear it. I, it just wasn't dry enough, but it's difficult to tear. You still have to uh, be sure not to stretch it out. Just hold this very firmly and then tear a bit and then hold this firmly and tear this bit. So I'm going to think of what to do with these two later on. But first I want to do this one and, um, well, you learn stuff as you go along, as you've seen in this video. Um, I don't really like this. In an art journal it's different, you can just, you know, make lots of things around it. And here it's just a little border that you didn't cut off really nice. So I don't really like that, but it's on here and I can do it again and then do the whole picture. But I can also try to think of something else. I've got little pink bows and I've got this stuff. But if I put this on here, you can't really see her cute ribbon anymore. But I think that's the best option. And I hope I can still punch a hole in there. So let me just let me just try this. Um, get some scissors. I have no idea if this is gonna be nice, but if it's not, well, then I just start all over again. You can, you know what? Just like this. It's on there now. So I'm just gonna cut this off. Okay, that looks kind of nice actually. I also have these cute bows, and I might do a light or a darker one. But first, I think I'm gonna check out this. Um, I printed out this. This is Paris, as you can see, and I don't know which size I want to use. And this is kawaii, which is Japanese for cute. So I thought that would be very kawaii. <laughs> But I want it to be pink, of course. So do I have something that really sparkles or glitters or... I do have Posca pens, but these are um, too large. I need a, a small one. So what I can do is maybe... Uh, I've got... Well, let me just show you what I've got here. This is the Wink of Stella brush and this is pink. So I'm just gonna try to make the whole thing pink. So I'll just... Uh, Make it all pink and a bit of shimmery. That's that's pink, yeah. They're right, it's pink. <laughs> uh, oh. So I'm just gonna cut this out. I wanted to put it over here. So you don't uh, see this corner because that's really bugging me. I don't know why, but... So I can put it over here. And then put a little bow over there. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. it. I think it's a bit too pink, but oh well, once it's finished, it's probably all right. So this time I'm gonna use a glue stick. Yep, yeah, I have to put it the right side up. And just put it really on the corner. So now for the bow, and I think I'm gonna go with a slightly darker one. Oh, I don't know why. Um, this one looks nice. I'm just gonna... Maybe I can put, put it over here. Oh, that's actually even cuter. Ta-da! I think this is finished. Except for the hole I forgot. Oh, that was easy. Oh, it's cute. It's cute. I'm happy with it. Kawaii. Kawaii ne. <laughs> Okay, so now for the Paris one. So I've got this one, which you hardly see. So I think I'm gonna put this one in an art journal because the letters are brighter than the Eiffel Tower. Um, 
So I think I'm gonna go with this one. I just had to wait a bit longer and uh, then you could tear it. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna put it on here. But first I think I'm gonna stamp something on there. Uh, and I looked up some stamps. I also got the word Paris. But I do have stamps that say Paris, like this one. Can you see that? This says Paris. And the Eiffel Tower could have stamped it. <laughs> but I wanted a picture transfer. So I think I'm gonna put this Paris on there. And maybe some of these things. I think I'm gonna use Distress Ink. And I need my kitchen sponge. So let me just put these aside and start with my kitchen sponge and vintage photo distress ink because for this you need distress ink I think that's the best and the colors are so wonderful I love this I love making these edges with distress ink and with these sponges okay so that looks really nice guys I love distress ink and especially the vintage photo so now I think I'm no wait I think I'm gonna Put this Paris stamp on here first, make sure it's okay. So first I'm gonna try it out. And that's a good thing because it's upside down. <laughs> oh boy, that would have been just something for me, wouldn't it? So I'm gonna put that over here. Hope you can see it. No, of course you can't. Otherwise, it would just go right in one go. Well, that's not what I do. Um, <laughs> I think for this I need different ink. Okay, so I've got early espresso, but that's almost black. And I've got chocolate chip. So I'm just going to try one out. And now to get it at almost the same spot. Huh. Well, that's probably not possible, but... Uh, well, now you can see a little shadow. It looks like you're looking cross-eyed if I look at it, but that's the look I was going for. No, it isn't, but as a stamper, you say that a lot and people believe you, so <laughs> that's okay. Okay, so uh, I'll clean this up later on. Um, so I've got Paris and I've got the Eiffel Tower and then I want to stamp this, but I'll... Shall I try to stamp it on here or will that just rub off? I think I will just wrap off, but if I stamp it over here, you might just see it through. Okay, so I'm gonna take uh, this one for that. Um, okay, the other side around. Sounds really nice. So I'm just gonna stamp this over here. You can't even read that it says Paris, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. And this one I'm gonna do with Vintage Photo. I really like that. And now I just want some scribbling. So I'm gonna use Versafine for that. And just stamp it over. You can hardly see it actually, but oh well. Now it looks vintage, I think. This will look really nice, I think. So now I'm going to stick it on there. And do I use Mod Podge? I want it to curl up a bit. Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'll just, I need glue. It doesn't matter what kind of glue. Just glue. And le voilà, le tour d'Eiffel. The Eiffel Tower. I really, really like this. Look how great that looks. And uh, I don't think I want... Yes, I want to do one more thing. I've got these uh, Tim Holtz stickers. This one probably has something like Discover, Adventure, Voyage. Voyage is nice. Or Travel. I think Voyage. And I'm just going to put that over here. So guys, two more of my, these, of my, these are some of my favorite things cards. I've got a Paris card and I've been here last year so I might just put the date on here. That would be a nice one. So I'm gonna write to 
2015, which you can hardly see, but that's okay. Nice. So now it's uh, a travel card from one of my travels, a memory. And this one uh, is from Rosen Maiden, and I wanted to write it down, but I know this is Rosen Maiden, and this is my book, so why should I write it down? Uh, if someone else sees it, they just see two cute little girls, but these are dolls from the anime or the manga series uh, Rosen Maiden, and it's very, very kawaii. Yeah, I like these. So they can go into my little book. First I'm gonna do Paris, and then we'll just do the Rosa made a one, and I'm gonna do lots more of these because there are more mangas I really like, Chuko Chara and other 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 ones probably won't say any, won't mean anything to you, but uh, yeah. So look how great that looks by now. I'm gonna flip through it every time I make something. So these are some of my favorite things. Hello Kitty, Star Trek, travel, Paris, and of course, Rose and Maiden, anime. Kawaii-na! So guys, I really hope you liked this video, even though I made two more of these cards, but um, I think I'm gonna make lots of these cards. And in this video I showed you the technique of uh, picture transfer... picture transfers. <laughs> and uh, I showed you, of course, what not to do. So uh, lots of things went wrong, and uh, then I found out what was the best way to do it. So that's what it's all about, uh, what I think. I like, I like the adventure of uh, having things go horribly wrong, like this one. I d really didn't like this edge, so I thought, you know, I'm gonna make it again and just fill the whole cart with it, and then I thought, no, I'll think of something, and now it looks really nice. So, yeah, just don't give up, just stick with it, and you get these lovely things. Uh, I'm starting to ramble again, because I'm at the end of the video. I ramble a lot. So uh, I hope you like this and uh, I hope you're gonna do some picture transfers because they're really nice to do and they look really awesome. And uh, well, if you like the video then please give me a big thumbs up, that would mean a lot to me. And if you haven't already then please subscribe to my channel to see more of my creative videos and my other videos. And well, just uh, groetjes from Holland. Bye!